awesome kindergartners, it's Ms. Johnson here. We are moving into a new domain and a new subject. Today's subject is stories. Today's story is Chicken Little. Let's jump right in. The purpose for listening today, the title of today's story, Chicken Little, in this story, the main character, Chicken Little, becomes very scared and frightened. I want you to listen carefully to this story and find out what Chicken Little is afraid of. Let's go. Some key vocabulary words that you're going to hear in today's story are the word acorn. An acorn is a seed of an oak tree. Character. A character is a person or an animal in the story. Den. A den is a cave-like shelter, sometimes underground and used by wild animals. Fiction. Fiction is a type of book or story that has imaginary characters and events. And last but not least, sly. If something is sly, it is secretive and sneaky. So let's get started with the story. One fine morning, Chicken Little went into the woods. As she walked along, an acorn fell on her head. Now, do you remember what acorn is, boys and girls? An acorn is a seed of an oak tree. Now, do you think an acorn is a part of the actual sky? I want you to think about that. Chicken Little was a very silly little chicken, and she often made silly mistakes. Chicken Little thought the acorn was a part of the sky. Chicken Little was so caught by surprise that she worked herself into a tizzy. If you work yourself into a tizzy, that means you become very overly excited about something. Oh dear me, she cried, the sky is falling. I must go and tell the king. A king is the most important person from a royal family that rules the land. Why does Chicken Little think the sky is falling? Hmm. On her way to see the king, Chicken Little met Henny Penny. Henny Penny, the sky is falling, cried Chicken Little. How do you know this, said Henny Penny. A piece of it fell on my poor head, said Chicken Little, rubbing her poor little noggin with just the memory of it. Noggin means head. Then let's go tell the king, said Henny Penny, who now felt just as worried. So Henny Penny and Chicken Little ran along until they met Goosey Lucy. Goosey Lucy, the sky is falling, cried Henny Penny. Well, how do you know, said Goosey Lucy. A piece of it fell on my poor head, said Chicken Little. Goosey Lucy looked at Henny Penny, who nodded in agreement. Mm -hmm. Then let's go tell the king, said Goosey Lucy, who could not help but to believe her friends. So Goosey Lucy, Henny Penny, Chicken Little hurried along until they met Ducky Lucky. Ducky Lucky, the sky is falling, cried Goosey Lucy. Well, how do you know, said Ducky Lucky. A piece of it fell on my poor head, said Chicken Little. Henny Penny and Goosey Lucy stood nodding their heads wide-eyed next to Chicken Little. Mm -hmm. It's falling. Ducky Lucky looked at her three friends and became worried because they were so worried. Then let's go tell the king, said Ducky Lucky. So Ducky Lucky, Goosey Lucy, Henny Penny, and Chicken Little ran along until they met Turkey Lurkey, who was certainly the biggest of the birds. Turkey Lurkey, the sky is falling, cried Ducky Lucky. Well, how do you know, said Turkey Lurkey. A piece of it fell on my head, said Chicken Little. Henny Penny, Goosey Lucy, Ducky Lucky stood behind Chicken Little, flapping their wings with worry. Then let's go tell the king, said Turkey Lurkey, for who was he to disagree with the four scared friends? 
So the five feathered friends ran along until they met Foxy Loxy. Foxy Loxy, the sky is falling, said Turkey Lurkey. Oh, is that so, said the sly Foxy Loxy, who knew better but pretended to believe the trembling birds. If the sky is falling, you better keep safe in my den, and I'll go tell the king for you. A den is a fox's home. I want you to think about it. Should those birds go into the den and wait and let the fox go tell the king? Think about that. So Chicken Little, Henny Penny, Goosey Lucy, Ducky Lucky, and Turkey Lurkey follow Foxy Loxy into his den. The dust in the den made Chicken Little sneeze. Ha, 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 The force of the sneeze made Chicken Little come back to her senses. If you come back to your senses, boys and girls, that means you stop being silly and you are going to think carefully about what you're doing. Wait, cried Chicken Little. Birds are supposed to stay away from foxes. Henny Penny, Goosey Lucy, Ducky Lucky, and Turkey Lurkey looked at each other in amazement. You're right, they cried. And so the five feathered friends ran out of the cave and never went back there again. And from that day on, they thought very carefully before believing that the sky was falling again. Well, boys and girls, let's jump straight into some questions. What was the title of today's story? Do you remember? If you said Chicken Little, then you were correct. So who were the characters in today's story? I'll help you out. Can you name them with me? What was the first character? Chicken Little. And who else did we have? Goosey Lucy. What's another one? Penny Penny. You got it. Keep going. Ducky Lucky. Mm-hmm. Turkey Lurkey. And what was the last one? Foxy Loxy. You got it. Did a piece of the sky really fall on Chicken Little's head? No, you're absolutely right. Well, how do you know? Remember, we said the acorn fell from the sky. Is an acorn a piece of the sky? No, acorns come from the trees. Good thinking. And which animal did not believe Chicken Little in the story? You got it, that sneaky, sly fox, Foxy Loxy. Now let's jump into some word work. Do you remember me talking about that sneaky, sly fox? In the read aloud today, you heard, oh, that is so, said the sly foxy loxy. If the sky is really falling, you better keep safe in my den and I will go and tell the king. Say the word sly with me three times, boys and girls. Here we go. Sly, sly, sly. When someone is being sly, they are sneaky, but in a smart way. The sly cat waited patiently by the mouse hole. I want you to tell someone at home what the word sly means. So now that you've said that word sly with me three times, let's jump into a little game. I'm going to read some sentences and you're going to reply by saying that person is sly. If you don't agree, you're going to say that person is not sly. Remember, sly means sneaky but in a smart way. Here we go. My brother planned a surprise party for me. Is that being sly? You got it, that person is sly. How about if a friend makes a lot of noise hiding when he is playing hide and seek? That person is not being sly, you are correct. Here's another sentence. Kareem's mother left his birthday present on the table where he could find it. Do you think the mom was being sly? That person is not being sly. And the last one. My grandmother gave me a wink before secretly handing me an extra cookie for dessert. That person was being sly. You got it. 
Okay, boys and girls, I had so much fun introducing the story, Chicken Little, today. You did such a good job answering those comprehension questions. And don't forget our word of the day, sly. You got it. Until the next time we meet, see you real soon, boys and girls. Bye.